What kind of legacy will you leave? Memories, values, dollars, experiences? Whatever is important to you, Jim Lineweaver is here to help. He has a list of ways to make your legacy last. Jim is a certified financial planner with the Lineweaver Financial Group. Hello, hello. So a family legacy is more than just leaving money to the next generation, yeah, right? That's what the first thing that everybody thinks about. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, if you've built up family uh, and wealth over time, it's not always just the monetary, but it's the intellectual capital that you want to try to pass on. And that's where a lot of things are missed. Um, and with the technology and things that you have at your fingertips today, not only can you like capture a lot of memories to help create, create a lifetime of legacy, but there are ways that you can also try to you know capture some the intellectual property to pass it on and provide safety and security for generations to come. Okay, well what, let's say we want to provide a monetary aspect to our legacy, but we want to make sure that it means even more than just the money, the dollars, the bottom line itself. Mm -hmm. So how can you do that? Yeah, well, what happens is there are certain instruments and trusts and different things out there that you can put some restrictions on how people may inherit the money or how they may receive money over time. So if you said you're going to get X amount per year, or you're going to need to use it for this or that, you can potentially kind of control some things for the grave if you really wanted to. Um, so there's some different investment structures that you can use for that as well. Some people People even will just gift good stocks and say, hey, I'd really rather you not sell this, but you know, just use the dividends and some of those things over time to do these type of things. So there are some ways to put some handcuffs around this if you really wanted to. Or, and, and even tell your family where it came from, why it's important. I mean, you know, some of that information might be helpful for them too. Yeah, and so. we, have, we have some families that they're on third generation of stock ownership and it's never going to be sold, but they can always spend the dividends. Mm -hmm. And kind of, hey, this was your grandfather's or great grandfather's right. and it makes a big difference. So the baby boomers coming up lots of them every year they're going to be or already have been on the receiving end of a large financial legacy and that adds up to a lot of money right a huge amount of money there's this big tidal wave of money that's coming and a lot of people are not prepared for it and unfortunately the money can be the root of all evil so there was a study by the Boston College that actually said that there's actually going to be over 8.4 trillion dollars um, coming to the baby boom generation and with pre-death gifts it's going to could amount to up to over 11 trillion Dollars. We're not talking billions anymore. These are trillions. Yeah, it's bigger so than it's some countries. Lot, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you better make sure you know what to do with this money. So how do the boomers or their parents create this legacy, like a gift that keeps on giving? Yeah. Well, there's some things that you can do. I mean, you can look at hard assets like real estate. You know, you can look at tax-deferred investments to do some things. Um, you can look at like the dividends option we talked about. And actually, with the nature of these products over time, there are some instruments out there that where you can generate an income that will either skip a generation or you know continue down through legacy so the best thing to do is open communication try to tell your story maybe write some things down of what you really want to happen with this money and some of these things that you've created and hopefully those next generations will keep that going they don't necessarily have to unless you structure it properly but they they hopefully could okay is it ever too late it's never too late to start planning always <laughs> people you can fail to plan but uh, yeah, try very to get it good as soon advice. as you can okay yeah. so creating a family family legacy takes time and effort. When it comes to matters of money, for those who come after you, a plan is imperative. For help, give Jim a call. His number's next. For more information, call the Line Weaver Financial Group at 1-888-313-4009 or click to www.lineweaver.net. Next, Visionary Products.